Welcome. These are our top stories this evening. Turkana Governor Josvad Nanok has been elected as the new chairman of the Council of Governors, taking over from his Meru counterpart, Peter Munya. During the full council elections, Taita Taveta Governor John Murutu was voted back as vice chair, while Kiambu Governor William Kaboga was elected the Council of Governors Chief Whip. But as Murimi Mwangi now reports, Nanok and his team already have a full entry, beginning with the push for Parliament to pass the Division of Revenue Bill, which is critical for county operations in the coming financial year. The team joins here. Yeah, yeah. As Trukana Governor Josphat Nanok took up the instruments of power as the incoming chair for the Council of Governors. A heavy burden hanging over the 47 county governments did not escape the mind of his predecessor, Meru Governor Peter Munya. The county governments might go into the new financial year without their budgets in place, hence stagnating development and they ultimately leading to chaotic transition process. But it has all to do with a prevailing standoff between the National Assembly and the Senate over the 2017-2018 Division of Revenue Bill, over a suggested additional 29 billion shillings to the counties, a dispute occasioned by the Senate's suggestion to increase the allocations to county governments from 323 billion, suggested by the National Assembly, to 352 billion. An attempt to resolve the standoff through a mediation committee flopped, resulting in the republication of the bill for fresh debate. We are therefore urging Parliament to treat this issue with the utmost urgency that it deserves. The mediation period elapsed on April 30, 2017. The bill having been forwarded to the mediation team on March 31st, 2017. The money which has been released to counties is not enough. The national government is holding a lot of money. The Ministry of Health has a lot of money. They can afford to buy a container and go to the mobile clinic. A container for 10 million shillings. National Assembly Speaker Justin Muturi recently advised the Budget Committee to consult with the Senate Finance Committee in a rather unusual step to iron out the standoff. And with only a month to the end of this financial year, Governor Nanok, it appears, has his work cut out. I do promise to do all that is within my powers to push the devolution agenda forward. I'm going to closely work with all the stakeholders in devolution. I have seen the benefits in partnerships and understand that they, that they enable us amplify our effectiveness. Agriculture is devolved. We would like you to really promote agriculture because our country cannot feed its own citizens. We cannot feed our own people. It does not make sense. You can have your railway, you can have your oil, during the meeting, Tai Tataveta Governor John Mrutu was re-elected as the Council of Governors Vice Chair, while Kiambu Governor William Kabogo was picked as the Council's Chief Whip. Officials who recouped their seats in the August general election will retain their slots at the Council. But fresh elections will be held to fill the posts of those who lose their gubernatorial